What's good, YouTube? Welcome back to the Soul Blaze YouTube channel. What's up, CDL fans? Welcome to CDL Week 3 versus Eli. Um, I'm pretty much ready to get into it, just doing a little bit of an intro. We're off a hot start, 2-0. Um, we're pretty much going to get straight into the battle here, so it's not, you know, a lot. We're hoping for some big dubs, so if you like what you're going to be seeing, make sure to like, comment, subscribe, and uh, yeah, thank you guys so much for the support on the series so far. I hope you guys are really enjoying it. I'm, I know me and the other coaches in the CDL sure are. So, um, yeah, without any further ado, let's hop straight into the battle. All right. So we are going to get straight into it. Um, I got my notepad ready. I got everything ready. Um, I think we're going to click battle start. I just want to validate my team. It's valid. We have it in the... We have it in the, uh, what's it called? The calculator. Let's go. I am ready. Select the Pokemon you wish to enter. Let's write down his team. Okay, so it is the Talon Flame. Hoopa you. Azu did bring the Fortress. Azu. Blastoise. Mega. And the Skun Tank. No Cobalion. Fortress. Okay. So he does not have a Cobalion lead versus me. That's really good for me, actually. Ooh, there's a lot I can do. Um, I do kind of feel like getting Rocks up early is really good. But he could also... That's kind of like the mind game. I can lead Donfa and he can lead a, lead a water type. And he kind of beats me off the bat. I do believe I have Fire Punch on my... Conkeldur? But doesn't this just die to an Azumarill? Just, just calc this real quick. Yes, it does. So I don't think we want to lead that. I think we're going to lead off with Zeus Ex Machina. Totally forgot to mute my Discord notifications here. I will get to that in a minute. Let's just uh, do that real quick. Streamer mode. Perfect. Okay, so no distractions. Here we go. I just uh, I just think, uh, honestly, that uh, no Pilo Swine. I can pretty much just Thunder Wave. Anything that wants to start. Good luck, Pokemon Center. I've always wanted to battle you. <laughs> uh, shout outs to Eli, man. <laughs> man, I've always wanted to give Nurse Joy the fucking beat. Uh, okay, here we go. Zeus X Mock, we're gonna lead. Shiny, beautiful. Doesn't, you know, stoning is shiny. Yeah, Fortress, it's pretty, you know, he can really fear the whatever the fuck. The HP, whatever you have it. Uh, so let's calc a specially defensive thing here. My Thunderbolt does a shit ton to this. Like, even if it's calm, like. It does a lot of damage. Do I feel like that's worth to go for? Do I T-Wave this? I feel like I just throw off a Thunderbolt. There's no immunity. We can just get some damage, scout the set. Uh, it should do... An easy way to tell this. Oh, that does... That is that is Fizdef. Oh my god, that is Fizdef. Yep, so rocks are up. Why wouldn't you want to go for rocks? Who does he go after this? No matter who he goes after this, I just para it. So we just uh, T-Bolt. And we take away his spinner as well. So if we set up rocks for Talonflame, you know, he might want to keep this around. But there's literally no electric resists on his team. Like zero, nada. There is no Latios. There is no electric resists on this boy's team. So, um... You know, the Giga Chat play would be going for Nasty Plot, but he still has some ones that are faster. He swaps. Who wants to tank this? I mean, yeah, I don't think you... Like, you can tank it, but... Like, look, that's still decent damage. And I get to paralyze this, which is kind of like a huge thing. Although, if you're... How much was that supposed to do? That does... Uh, that's around... Okay. Hoopa. Unbound. Like, that does around what it says, yeah. 
So I think we just go for a T-Wave. It's 100% accurate. We go first. He can't block it with being a dark type. As far as I'm aware, it's still the strong prankster. Oh, hold up. Yep, we got the T-Wave off. Perfect. We need that thing slowed down really bad. Hopefully we get a full para. Knock off. That's going to kill. Oh, thank God. That actually... Okay. So I live. This is actually nice to keep around. I don't know why the game is loading so much. God damn. Can I? Okay. Yeah, here we go. Sad part is I kind of need to take a day, take a hit from this thing. Um, I can just go with the Dawn, though. I kind of want to save this for just T-Wave if I can get the rocks away. If not, I still have a free sack, which is cool. Because I can't kill this right now. And this is uh, telling me that it's physical. Knock off. He might go a water type on this, but then I can always go back and sack if I want to. There's so much I can do. He does have another spinner and Mega Blastoise, to be fair, but... I'll take a little bit from the rocks. Paralyzed. <laughs> Love to see it. Love to see it. Now, the thing is, I don't think he wants to stay in here. I think he wants to go to a water type. He could go Mega Blastoise here. What the... What is up with this game loading right now? Uh, do I get my rocks up? Or do I spin mine away? I do think I can spin mine away here. He could also go the fortress. I'm a spin, dude. He has no ghost type. Uh, Para was nice, but see that's why we want to keep uh, the thunders around, you know And I do believe fortress is in uh, even if he has rocky helmet. I do believe it's in EQ range now Which would be pretty all right I feel like this is going okay You withdraw so I get a free rapid spin here wants to go make a blastoise probably or just this yeah rid of that rock so he's at a little bit above 25 percent hp so if that's the case and i he's not even that okay uh he's a little bit over above 25 so eq doesn't kill but this kind of just like you can just rapid spin i can eq here and then I can rapid spin kill him because EQ plus rapid spin should kill him. I can get a high roll. I can get a crit. No, it's not high roll. I need a crit to kill. Withdraws. Okay. Well, I just get a free EQ. We take that. We appreciate that. Oh, is it choice? Maybe. Oh, that just kills. Okay. Hoopa's out. Hoopa is out. Fuck me, that did damage. That EQ did damage. I didn't I'm not even invested. What the fuck was that? <laughs> Dude, that's zero attack EQ. What? <laughs> okay. Uh so the paralyze is a little bit. I wish my like now it's almost like Thunderous is a little bit like that being healthier is almost better. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So what's my play? I'm not switching into this thing at all. So I think it's better to just set up the rocks. I don't think it has much setup. And even then we can paralyze it. Stays in and attacks. Who would have guessed? Skull. You could get the skull burn, but then I should get the rocks up either way. Got the rock up. So he wants to spin here, probably. Which could give me a much safer switch out than whatever was this, the previous turn. 
And I still have rocks here. So is that safer? Is there anything I can go on this that would do immense damage? Because he's going to kill me with spin and that's still going to remove the rocks, which is bad for me. So I could go like... Does Thunderous die from Mega Blastoise? Rapid Spin? Rapid Spin does 6%. I am... How much HP am I on that? 28. 28? I'm at 9%. So Rapid Spin uh, says it doesn't kill me, which could be a pretty cool way to, to do this. But wouldn't I... I can get EQ chip on this. You know what? Let's go Star Scorch. If he wants to spin, he wants to spin. I don't think he Dragon Pulses here. I can still save both. Predicted it with an Ice Beam. Good, jo good job. But I'm AV and very bulky. Star Scourge, can we get it together, please? Bro has no electric resists, by the way. I just want you to know. It's not even bad if I just can thaw this, man. I'm still in a winning position if I can just fucking thaw this shit, man. That 
is so unfortunate. I can't even begin to describe how unfortunate that is. Did he write anything to me? No. On Discord, maybe? No. Wait, what? where did he go? Did he want to resist the Hyper Voice? Oh, yeah, but I Thunderbolted. Yep. Thanks Thanks for the Talon Flame. Thank you for sacking that. You have no electric resistance, my guy. Azu, Blastoise, Skun Tank left. Skun Tank would be problematic, but you already know I have sacks in the back. I can actually use my sacks very strategic now. And there it is. There's a reason this comes in. It's probably even AV. Uh, there's no way for me to remove rocks. Like, literally no way. So I think I just go Zeus. And after, we can go like, for example, Conk. You nasty paw, you nasty paw. P-jab, yep, yeah, there it is. So now, I almost don't even have... Like, once I once I get past uh, this thing, uh, the Greninja also does well. But we just go into Conk Elder here. And we, by this, uh, I guess, Gun Tank. I don't want him to swap. And he knows Drain Punch is doing a fuck ton. So he's going Azu here. And I just want to uh, probably just Thunder Punch that. So... He knows he needs to save this for Mega Guard, right? I'm predicting him to swap to like Mega Blastoise or some shit here. Because he's fairing Drain Punch or like fighting move. Strong fighting move. He should anyway. He wants to go to Fairy for the resist. And this should do a lot of damage to the Azu. Let's see how much exactly. Yeah, it's a 2 KO. That's perfect. And then I can suck Dolphin. I can Gardevoir, and we can play the tune from there. Or I could even Home Claws. So he does want to stay. Okay. Well. Can I get a Para since you get a Freeze? Ooh, Rocky Helmet. Okay. So he's not Scarf. I Drain Punch here then. P jam, okay. Can I get the guts? Oh, thank you for the guts. Thank you. Perfect. This now does a shit ton of damage. Boom. Yep. And now I have grass knot. Aftermath, yeah, that's fine. Oh, I live though. So the thing about Azu here, he can't set up belly drum. So that's if that's belly drum. Oh, I die. I die. Oh, I died of poison. Okay, well, that's even better for me because I believe that the Gardevoir... Aqua Jet, is, you're not in range, and Thunderbolt does a shit ton to you. That's not even Gardevoir Mega. Yeah, Thunderbolt, absolutely Mega Blastoise. That also, like, I do a shit ton to both. So I'm kind of liking that because how much is the Greninja doing right now? Greninja with, like, Grass Knot. Yeah, that can finish off both, if anything. So, I think we just do that. We just go Mikalo. A Woomerle, yeah. But I'm really tank fist tanky on this. We hit it for Thunderbolt. We live the Aqua Jet. Or he might even not Aqua Jet. Uh, we'll see. Uh, my play is always Thunderbolt. I live the Aqua Jet, though. And then I can sack the Dawnfang, go Greninja, Grass Knot, Grass Knot, Grass Knot, Grass Knot, Grass Knot, and then come in here and win with the uh yeah the freeze is mighty unfortunate like you see how it affects this end game like i get extra kill with your gulch i have an extra pokemon to pivot around it's really especially tanky like it, it beats a lot of his team like yeah i freeze man that might be game deciding and i'm dumb enough to stay in and try and fucking unfreeze as well instead of letting it go instead of going straight to the fucking thunderous like i should have uh, but I'm like, if I unthaw, that's so good for me as well, you know? 
He's like, why did he go here? <laughs> Thunderbolt's about to pack you. If you're not bulky, if you're not max uh, max uh, HP here, I don't even want to look at that calc for you. That is, is doing a shit ton of damage. It says 69 to 80. With a potential chance to para. That is less than half. That's AV. Missed. Oh my god. Well. So how do I play this? So he's AV. How do I play this? How do I play this? How do I play this? If I go Dawn Fan. Kills me. I go Gren. Gren cannot hit this for shit though. Even with Grass Knot. How much does a Polaro do to me? It should kill, right? Always? Salt last, player off. Yeah, player off always kills. But he has Aura Sphere. I have to do this play. It sucks, but we have to do this play. It sucks so hard, but we have to do this play. Hits it this time. Grass knot for days. It's not, it's like 48 special attack grass knot too, but it's a little bit of chip that will bring him into the Thunderbolt range. You can also... Oh, crit! Okay, we take those. Hits it, though. That's death. Yep. And now... I mean, we live the Aqua Jet more comfortably now. Uh, this is going to be really interesting. I think Blastoise wins, unless I get a para. I think it can take me. Especially with Aqua Jet uh, chip from Azumarill as well. That doesn't kill, though, because you're AV. Yep. So now I have to get a para. On the Blastoise. Para on the Blastoise. Para into full para. <laughs> or a crit. Para into full para or a crit. That's what it comes down to. Damn, fuck me. That freeze is bad, dude. Oh, my God. What's with the hacks, man? I really... Game is telling me fucking you better run six Lumberries, bro. Five with Mega Guard, I guess. Just let that die to sleep or some shit. Oh my god. It's not what I needed today, I'll tell you that much. Game, please give me para and a full para. That's all I ask. He got a freeze. And I still sat there for three turns. It's for this. It's for this. Oh, it doesn't even tweak you. Okay. Well, <laughs> GG's. <laughs> GG's. Oh, that, he gets the crit. Okay, I see how it is. I see how it is. GG to the Eli. Unfortunate freeze. You know how it is. It happens. It happens. Um, so we're going to go two and one. Uh, and we hope to bring it back. I think we played solid. I don't really see any fault in trying to unfreeze there either. I'm going to be completely straight with you. Getting frozen three turns in a row is crazy. But it is what it is. We we played our hearts out, and we're going to come back stronger next week. If you guys enjoyed, please make the like, comment, subscribe. And um, I'll see you guys in the next video. This is Boon Boy Soulblaze. And as always, take care of yourself, take care of your family. And I'll see you guys next time. Peace!